Hello everyone from Delhi University 2015. Question is which of the following series converges? So first one is given cos 1 by n square sin 1 by n square then 1 by n to the power 1 plus 1 by n then n to the power cos 3. Now see for the first one given series is cos 1 by n square. Now for a series, if a series converges, then necessary condition for that series, n must goes to zero when limit n tends to infinity. If a series converges, then the first important term, first important condition is this limit must goes to 0. Now here an equal to cos 1 by n square. Now if we take limit n tends to infinity when n close to infinity this 1 by n square goes to 0 and cos 0 is equal to 1. So this limit is not equal to 0. So summation of an is not conversion. So this series is not conversion. So similarly for this series sin 1 by n square for this for this series first we learn limit comparison test so what is limit comparison test if an and bn are two sequence of positive term for n is less than n now if both sequence are positive and limit n tends to infinity an by bn is equal to some c where c is greater than 0 and less than infinity it means c must be a positive finite number then behavior of the series a n and series b n are same it means if one of them is convergent then other will also convergent and if one of then is divergent then we can say other is also divergent so from one series we can get the information about the other series so for this series what we will do take a n equal to sine 1 by n square and take b n equal to 1 by n square now limit n tends to infinity a n so sine 1 by n square by b n 1 by n square now see we know this limit as like if x tends to 0 then cos sorry sine x by x is equal to 1 the limit of the chase standard limit uh, you can solve this by allos rule also mm, yeah so here it is also same when n tends to infinity 1 by n square goes to 0 so sin 0 and 1 by n square also goes to 0 so it is 0 by 0 form so uh, by hospital rule you can get the limit of this sequence is 
equal to 1. Now, 1 is a, it is a finite number, which is not equal to 0 and less than infinity. So, this series, series of a n and series of b n will behave same. Now, we know that this series is convergent, series of 1 by n square is convergent as we know this series 1 by n to the power p is convergent when p is greater than 1. From p series, we know this is convergent. So, 1 is convergent. So, from limit comparison this sin 1 by n square is also convergent. So, option b is the correct answer. Now, c for the option c Similarly, you can use this limit comparison test. Take a n equal to 1 by n and then b n equal to take this 1 by 1 plus 1 by n, which is 1 by n into n to the power 1 by n. Now, uh, an by bn this is 1 by n 1 by n 1 by n to the power 1 by n so this both term will get cancelled and this term will remain n to the power 1 by n so if, if we take limit limit entrance to infinity and we know the limit of n to the power 1 by n when n turns to infinity it is 1 again you can solve this by taking log if if you take some y equal to n to the power 1 by n then log y equal to uh, 1 by n log n so this is log n by n so when n turns to infinity this infinity by infinity form again if you use L hospital rule then this log n will be 1 by n and uh, what is the differentiation of n with respect to n it is simply 1 so 1 by n when n turns to infinity this goes to 0 so log y when if log y equal to 0 then what is y y equal to one. So from here you get get the value of limit a n by b n. So limit a n by b n which is equal to one. So this is again a finite number. So this is not equal to zero and less than infinity. So this both the series a n and b n behave same. Now here it's see we know that summation of uh, one by n is divergent so this series also divergent so again this is not true and for the last one again it is very simple summation of n to the power cos 3 so what we will do here this take 1 by n to the power minus of cos 3 now cos theta is always bounded and value of cos theta is always go for minus 1 to plus 1 and when it is 1 if cos 0 and cos 0 is equal to 1 but now here see this is cos 3 and, um, and and pi equal to 3.14 so this cos 3 is less than cos pi so and cos pi by 2 so cos 3 is belongs to this interval cos pi by 2 and cos pi and we know that the value of cos 3 is always 
between minus 1 to 1. Cos 3 is will always between minus 1 to 1. And we know that 1 by n to the power p, summation of 1 by n to the power p is convergent when p is greater than 1. So this value never be greater than 1. So this series is not convergent. So again from p series, this is divergent. So correct option is B. So this is the correct option. Thank you.